So a pH, do you remember what our little box is? The key information about pH, we need to know? The key information? Mm -hmm. So if we have a high pH, oh, um, what type of hydrogen will we have? Low hydrogen. Low, there we go. And then if we have a low pH, high hydrogen. High hydrogen. Awesome. Okay. So that's one of the most important things to remember about pH. Um, and then we have our pH scale, right? And what was like the neutral, or what's our blood? Do you remember that one was that? 7.35 to 7.45. Yeah, awesome. 7.35 to 7.45 is going to be our neutral. It's not super acidic. It's not super um, um, alkaline or basic. This is going to be our basic. And remember, is basic going to be a higher number or a lower number? It's going to be higher. Higher. So that could be like maybe oven cleaner. We went into that last time. Whereas two would be like lemon juice. So that's going to be acidic. Whereas this one's going to be basic. The other word for basic is going to be alkaline. And then acidity. Uh huh. Acidosis. Okay, and then do you remember the reversible reaction? Uh, H2O plus CO2. Plus H2O, uh huh. H2CO3. Awesome. And there's hydrogen. Yeah, H2CO3 minus. I think it's minus. So H2CO3, and then we're going to have HCO3. There's a 3 at the end. Okay, so you asked earlier about, like, does that have anything to do with running? And so it does, but in the way of working through, uh -oh, through your breathing. And so the CO2 is going to be the measurement of how much oxygen we have going in and out. So if you notice when you're running, you're obviously you either lose breath or you're going to, you know, when you stop, you're going to have more oxygen in your body. So we can also, I would recommend when you go in the testing center, write this down, but also write down kind of like a scenario because there's more than likely you're going to need to know one. So you could say <coughs> when you're running, when you're running, Sorry. When you're running, that's actually David, the tutor calling. Okay, so when you're running, do you have a lot of oxygen or a lot of CO2 in your body? So when you're, I'd like to think about, okay, so if I'm running. You don't have a lot of oxygen because it's going down because you're using it all up, right? But I'm using it all up in my body. Uh -huh. So yeah, yes, but reversed. So I have a lot of oxygen in my body. So I have a lot of O2, and then O2 and CO2 are always going to be reversed. So kind of like this is reversed, same thing over here. Because I like to think of it as like, hey, when I'm running, I'm sucking wind, right? You're like, <sighs> so I'm like breathing in a ton of oxygen, and I'm just like pushing out that CO2 just so I can get more oxygen. Whereas when I'm resting, I'm going to have a low O2 and a high CO2, right? So then you said yesterday when you were running, it could, when you threw up, it has a direct impact on your um, pH levels. So let's do an example. Um, and this is the one we kind of went over the other day too. So when I have a low respiratory rate, so which one would be a high or a low respiratory rate? When I'm running, am I breathing harder or when I'm resting? Yeah, when you're running. Right. So when I have a low. When you have a low. Mm -hmm. So I'm not breathing very quickly. Resting. Uh huh. So resting. So when I have a low resting heart rate, what is my pH doing? So we could go in and say, okay, we're worried about the CO2. So we have, okay, I have a high. We have that up arrow. Say, okay, we have a high CO2. And then what happens? Because we have a high CO2, we're just going to push this equation all the way to the right. 
Correct. When we're worried about this, so we have a high hydrogen concentration. We have a low pH. Low pH. Low pH is just like you said, more acidic, and so that's why you would throw up maybe. Or interesting because that was when you're running. So that means it probably didn't have an impact. But also when you run, lots of other things are with your metabol metabolic systems are going to go wrong. Um, yeah, when you're resting, you'd have more acidity in your blood. But not saying that like when you're resting, your pH would go down that low. Like your blood will normally, rarely, rarely ever go any lower than a 7.35. So there's that one. Does that make sense? Yeah. With pH and then um, I think you you texted me, yes. right? Asking. So what if we had a high uh, H2O? It still goes that way. Yep. Is it going to do the same thing? Because we're still going to be just pushing it. So those two things on the left, they affect the H2CO. Which affects outside. Right. Okay. Right. What if I say? They like stimulate it to produce more. Mhm. Mm what if I say I have a high level, a high concentration of HCO3? Um, what would that mean? Go more basic. Uh huh. It would shift it this way, which would make this one kind of just the exact same how it is. It would make more, so it would still be the acidity.